but relationships are a gamble. And this man, what do you bring to the table? Why should a bitch choose you? When these niggas name their favorite rappers, I yeah. mean, you could say why they would want him. He's successful. He got money. Mm -hmm. He got you know. They, why would a bitch choose you? It gets quiet when you ask a nigga that. And I only deal with bitches who, who wear red. Bitch gonna start throwing all her blue dresses away. Yeah. I only deal with bitches feed me every day. You deal with what you tolerate. If you literally just have the mentality of, I only deal with bitches who X, Y, and Z, then that's the only bitches you gonna deal with. You might have fucked up yesterday, but all you got is today. And you showed up today. Don't throw pearl before swine. Show up right. and show this out, game man. This is treasure. Yeah. Not everybody's deserving of this game. Where's the buck? Shame is good. Shame, sh shame. People act as if shame is bad. Shame is good. We shame pedophiles. We shame things that are negative. You shouldn't be this. We shame. I mean, they say you shouldn't fat shame, but it's like you shouldn't be proud of being unhealthy. You're literally killing yourself. Like, shame is good. We shame things that are negative. People just don't want to be shamed for their bad decisions. They want to smoke every day, but don't shame me for it. Mm. They want to sleep with the whole neighborhood, but don't shame me for it. Right. It's like now in society, uh, political correctness has been label political correctness but a lot of times it's like ignore my bullshit if you ignore my bullshit you're being politically correct no th that's some bullshit this is wrong and this is my genuine opinion okay that's politically incorrect man you can't say that i can't say it because it's true because of how i said it because of what i'm talking like wh which one is it which one is it i want to eat myself to death Right, the like it's, it's like it's like a scapegoat for bullshit. Oh, don't fast shame. So does that not mean like if we not talking about shit or that fat, ugly, nasty bitch? Like that's 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 just like you just you just talking trash. Like you just whatever. Like you just, you know you just going in on some negative shit. Don't try to impress. Just be impressive. I'm an impressive no, nigga off the rip. Wanna... Presentation matters. You know what I mean? But we already have it. You got 30 platters. When you have the perceived value, you don't have to convey value. You could, but you already had, like, Bill Gates, we know you got it. Yeah. You know what I mean? With a, raised, with man. a regular raised. average dude who goes to the club tonight or whatever this weekend, he don't got it. He don't have the perceived value. He doesn't walk into a room when people go, ooh. So he has to try to convey it by wearing the nice shirt or doing the certain shirt or just he has to be loud to be seen. This looks But fire. when you're already cooking, seen, bro. you don't got to be loud. Just got the Patreon. Do this in the moment. Shout out to the Patreon, man. I thought this man was poised. Who you talking about? Always exercise your pimping. I mean, not literal <laughs> pimping, but just always date your girl. Um, like you say to say people who don't know what they want to be in life, but they know they want to be better off financially. I would say you're not making sense. You know, because you, you, you already know what you want to be in life. You want to be financially free. You want to be financially stable. So you already know what you want to be. Now, if you don't know how that's how you're gonna do that, then you need to search up careers. You need to be realistic. Exactly. Now you got to move to the practical phase. You understand yourself. You understand what you want. You're pretty clear about it. But you also have to know that until you put a ground, like a plan on the ground, it's just a, it's an idea, man. It's just you know, winners and losers have the same goals. Somebody went and got it, and somebody didn't. So having a goal means nothing, bro. They do it yes. every day. Never, yes. never. I've caught myself. You know, it might be a week or two weeks where I kind of have a moment of self reflection where it's like I'm getting too comfortable. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We, 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 we. I'm so used and comfortable with just we chilling at the house every day. Yeah. Let's sprinkle in occasionally. Let's go out somewhere. Let's do something nice. Let's create yeah. a you know go jet skiing or something. Yeah. Let's uh, <clears throat> trying to go get it on God. Like I say, continue to date your girl. It's, it's money or girls or just anything i try to just have an abundance mentality of like if i don't if i miss out on this i'm gonna make more you know what i mean and, mm -hmm. and not being scared to just if i lose her i'm gonna get another you know what i mean having that confidence yeah there's this famous quote people with no purpose distract themselves with pleasure and so a lot of people yeah. they spend years chasing pleasure whether that be video mm -hmm. games all day chasing girls partying every weekend they wake up 10 years later and they realize i wasted my 20s chasing Burned fun up. wow Really was just chasing distraction, but it was disguised as pleasure. Or it was they were chasing pleasure disguised as distraction. Wow. One thing I pay every dollar to really succeed. That means every day, every hour, you gotta put that in. You wanna be the greatest? There is no discount. They don't, you don't People that get a discount success or a shortcut or a short route, they last a short time, bro. It's like a music or artist that get lucky. I'm telling you, read that book, The Secrets of the Millionaire Mind. I told you about that. That book said it like this. 
it said, if, if you are at the right place at the right time, that's luck. If you are the right person at the right place at the right time, then that, that is the perfect alignment of everything that all the factors in place. Because you're the, you're, you're the right person, so you're prepared for what your luck was. And you might take that luck and, and never go back. Take me for example. I had one viral clip on TikTok and never looked back since. Never. Changed my whole life. One clip. One clip. You don't get this shit half off. If you didn't put in the hours of Michael Jordan, you... None of my... None of, mind you. At that... At first, early on, it was just TikTok clips from my own posting that I had to keep posting to promote myself. YouTube didn't follow through yet. Instagram wasn't fully there yet. Like, I still probably had under 5K, you know, followers or subscribers on YouTube. Um... You know, shit, shit didn't really bounce out to like, oh, I got a career now. Oh, my God. I spent that whole next three months uploading every day. Sometimes double uploading. Sometimes, um, you know, doing fucking 24-hour streams. Six, seven-hour streams. Every day. And then I got lucky. Fine. I think it literally, almost coincidentally, my 100th YouTube video was the fr first video I had to hit 100K. It might have been either that one or like like the 50th one or something like that. But it definitely wasn't like, oh, after that, everything just picked up, man. I was just on YouTube booming. No, I had to take over the YouTube algorithm. I had to put myself in it. I had to make my name searchable. Niggas used to type in Taekwondo. It'd give you fucking lessons in, in fighting, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just was... You won't be on Michael Jordan. Was. That, was, oh yeah, that was 2021 summer, bro. 2021 summer, bro. Nigga was hungry. Man, listen. I had a fire on my ass that I knew was like, man, don't fuck this shit up. Don't fuck this shit up. So any pace I take now, just from that one summer, bro. Mind you, I could move to an island or something like that and just completely disappear. But I could literally, I could do my side quest now. I'm working on shit musically. I spend time with my family. I do things, you know, I, 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 like I have a life. Like I can have my life now. In the mix of still being productive. If you didn't put in the time of LeBron, you won't be a LeBron. You know the time of Lil Wayne, you won't be a Wayne. There's no discounts on this shit. You don't get this shit at all. It's expensive. It's priceless. It's, it's never an old with time, any, bro. I'm never an old man. anything that you're tripping off of, Ever. I don't like life. my girl dressing a certain way. I don't like whatever the fuck. fuck it, there's shit. a way Appreciate in which that, you can, you can get on too. the same page. In a relationship, y'all need to be on the same page. Y'all, mm -hmm. you're tripping off of. I don't like my girl dressing a certain way. I don't like whatever the fuck. It, there's a way in which you can you can get her on the same page in a relationship y'all need to be on the same page y'all mm -hmm. team y'all family it's not so much women are terrible or men it's not a, like we're not it's not a battle i'm trying to figure out how uh, is this team going to be most successful we got to be on the same page so when i give certain advice this is why this is what's best for the betterment of our team you get what i'm trying to say yeah and she, yeah and she got to be on the same page if you're not on the same page no problem go fuck with somebody else Go play with another team. What I don't wish it was easier. Wish you were better. If you Dang. don't like something, change it. If you can't change it, change your attitude. If you don't like something, change it. You don't like your body, change it. If you can't, if there's something you can't. I feel like folks don't be investing the time to figure out what they enjoy doing it because their enjoyment is what makes you want to keep going. False. Change, right? Your height. Then just change your mentality. False. People are one of the greatest resources. So what drives different people can be can be completely different. We put up that that um Elon Musk clip earlier on the Reddit. And the guy said, what do you use for strength to persevere and all this fancy shit? He said, I don't even look for strength. I don't look for optimism. I don't look for pessimism. I don't look to feel good or feel bad. I just, I know what I want and I go for it. A, an emotionless determination. Now, can everybody do that? No, because a lot of people depend on emotions and want to feel right, feel like it and all that. That's that feel shit. Oh, I got to enjoy it. Not at all, bro. That's not what a habit is. A habit, a habit. Oh, I'm enjoying it every single time. A lot of the top pro athletes or top performers or top artists, that actually like you know put work and time into the effort. They do the same shit over and over and over. Now they might love the sport, they might love winning, but they're not coming to a new push up, a new a new bench press. They're doing the same techniques over and over again, better and getting faster. So they're they're enjoying that improvement, but not it's not necessarily the most interesting thing in the world. Like everybody wants to sit here and think that oh I need to be an entrepreneur, I need to be the boss of my own boss, I need to like. It must be fun. I must find my passion. Dog, it's going to be some days your passion do not feel like your passion. This shit going to make you feel like, man, why did I even start? 
Tal, you believe we turn into nothing when we die? Well, technically, you don't. But if you mean like an afterlife, then... Oh, by investing in some people, by having I different networks and having different connections, like die, building bro. all these different bridges, it, you have multiple different routes you can go in life. Different people can help you in different situations. You could you can help other people, they can help you, but yeah, being part of different tribes is so healthy and so many people are part of unhealthy tribes. People rub off on you. Your tribe oh my don't... God, your tribe. Chad, how would you describe your tribe right now, bro? I'm gonna keep it a bean, bro. Remember I told you that story how I changed my life starting in that now my tenth grade year of high school, bro, after I got into that fight. And that fight almost had me catch that case. Aggravated assault, grant robbery, all that nut shit happened, bro. And when that shit got dropped, I changed my life, bro. And one of the first, easiest, quickest things to drop was that motherfucking tribe. And I told y'all, speaking of this tribe shit, I had that I had an algebra two class at the time. And I told you I went to tutoring, and the biggest shock to me at the time, I never went to tutoring right, right. And I was always struggling with some of that shit before, right. Then now I'm doing a good student. I had like a probably like an eighty nine or a ninety one, and I wanted an A. Instead of like a B plus or like an A minus. So I was going to tutoring because you got extra points for that. I told you I went to tutoring and I didn't see one student who had a C or a D. Because I had one of those teachers who would who would talk trash. Not in a negative way, but she we knew who the students that were struggling were. And I was in classmates with people I knew. So I knew who was struggling. You, you know, you kind of knew. I went to tutoring. I didn't see one motherfucking C student in there. One D student in there. One B student in there. When I went to tutoring, bro... It was everybody who had a fucking 93, 95, 96, 91 or something like that. All going to get extra help. I swear to God, ever since that day, it showed me something about work ethic. And it showed me, I'm like, bro, I'm like, bro, the hungriest people, the people who you who need it the least, be working the hardest. And the people who need it the most don't even give a fuck. What's good? What's good, Dom? That shit, I never looked at work the same, chat. And mind you, as I'm in there, sometimes in tutoring, right? After we take a test, um, you get handed the paper back. And then the next morning of tutoring would turn into like a um a test review session if the teacher didn't do it in class. Don't y'all know? We in this motherfucking huddle. Now mind you, I didn't hang with none of these kids outside of school, but this was kind of like my school tribe of algebra two classmates i guess um dog these motherfuckers going oh i got a 97 which one did you get wrong did you get the one i got wrong wrong oh wait let me see what you got let me see i might have got a 93 this nigga got a 97 this motherfucker got an 89 this one got a 91 we over here like no what's that wait how'd you get that wait what was it and the student who got a 52 is probably doing what man what's the mood this weekend man where we at man and i was that same student though I made a whole fucking reverse, bro. I'm to my bro. It used to be 3 o'clock, right? We get out of school at 3 o'clock. Man, I'm right outside. Hey, man, yo, we up the street, man. I told you, all girls high school right up the street. Another all girls high school, like, three blocks down. But they they used to come to the bus stop that was at the top of my um my high school corner. Dog, yo, we, yo, you know we up there, man. Come on, come on. We outside. This is what I'm thinking about on a regular day. With the, with another tribe or another you know clique or a group of people I'm hanging with, bro. Don't rub off on you. That so should mean everything, bro. Are you affiliated with? And that's another reason why even if you got a girl, her friends should be in. Like let's say, let's say some nut ass shit. Well, if you're not from Philly, you know nut shit. Nut shit is like corny shit or like dickhead shit. Like I don't know how to describe nut shit. If you do some nut shit like some lame shit, bro. And you ain't got the kind of homies that like yo. What the fuck is you doing? Yo, me and my homies, bro. We roast each other when it when it when it, if it makes sense, bro. We roast this shit. No, listen, we call that shit out. Like, ain't no way you just told that bitch that. Ain't no way you said this or said that. We don't play that shit, bro. Yeah, you saying dumb shit. You do some nuts. You do you do some dumb shit, right, bro? Think of the opposite though. I'm triple texting a girl. I'm blowing her phone up. I'm like, damn, bro, I just bought her these flowers and she ain't even show up to the date. And my, let's say you already don't got a father. You already don't got a father. Or, or a good role model or brother or nothing. No, man, try harder. You'll get her tomorrow. I, I just couldn't even imagine, bro. 
in relationships. Surround yourself with people in relationships. I couldn't with, imagine. With families. Y'all got similar similar values, similar goals. She hanging out with hella Y'all don't even care. Y'all all like, suckers. Y'all all suckers. So it don't even matter. Like, damn, bro, you two? Her single friends typically want to do probably aren't in alignment with what she should be wanting to do. I be just trying to emphasize, like, bro, you got to stop looking up to my... Damn, in high school, she was my high school crush. Then once you become a certain person, it's like, you hear Tupac talk about that. Like, hold another tangent, but it's like, that same is a nobody. And now she's like begging to get you. I remember Tupac said a quote, he was like, he'll be in, I'm being in the club. In the club, no one gave a f And like the very next day after selling like a crazy hit, he's like, the same people, they can't sit next to him without going crazy. Every aspect of your life has to embody greatness. Everything from the way you eat, from the things no that you watch, so that you no Every aspect of the game should be like, he's different. I should be able to look at you. What I said, your presentation speaks before you do. Presentation should speak loud. See, this is the issue with us. When you have perceived value, you don't have to convey value. So if a bitch already know that's a million dollar nigga, you could dress like this and just, because you already had the perceived value. This game gets so deep, but tomorrow don't exist and yesterday don't exist. Today is all we got. You gotta understand, we all taking losses. That's part of the game. Part of the game. Goes back to like the tribe shit. It's like be able to wear different masks, be able to hang out with different groups, be able to be a chameleon. You could be the businessman like Fifty Cent. They were playing some of the clips that played earlier, but no, chat. That was a great motherfucking way to end the stream, bro. Five and I don't know my shit. Looking not that's currently updated. Five hours and twenty minutes. It says on my one screen. Um, you know, since I got raided today, I think I want to raid somebody too. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like I said, chat, um, outside of the traveling that I'm going to be doing next week and, you know, some of the weekends after that, I want me going live. I want me going live every day, bro.